Amateurs define success by the size of the facility, brand new equipment, or the fancy exercises they perform with their clients. We define success by the proven program that we develop over time to produce lasting results time and time again, with the goal in mind of creating a lasting impact. We first started to design this process back when we first opened over four and a half years ago. We actually found the, the listing on Craigslist. It took us three days to move in, and on the fourth day we were training clients. We started with about 20 athletes, and through that time, we, we developed our program to where it currently has today. It was just me, so I had to develop a process that attracted serious athletes, and had to weed out the people that weren't serious. Over time, that process has developed into our current mindset and system that has produced over 100 college athletes, and over 100 all-state or all-conference athletes in over 14 different sports. We feel right at home in our current garage and how it's contributed to our blue-collar mindset and the development of our program. We also know that change is the only constant in life, and it's our purpose to have a much larger and louder voice. As we transition, there's three things that direct our path. The first thing that directs our path is the team. The team makes it all possible. Their hunger to provide the best allows us to create a one-of-a-kind service and environment. The team allows us to reach more people in our area. If everyone is moving forward together, that success will take care of itself. The second thing that directs our path are our clients. We treat our clients like family. They're completely dedicated to us, and we're completely dedicated to them. We have this tremendous support by keeping quality people close to us. We learned early on that we can't fall in love with our training or coaching, we have to fall in love with our clients. Then we listen openly to them and we adapt to fit their needs. When I discussed expanding with our team, I showed them our client list and said, take half of these clients that you wouldn't want to work with. There are many more just like them and we have the ability to reach them if we're not strapped by our square footage. We are all in after that. The final thing that directs our path are our results. Talking about all the cool stuff we'll be able to do with the additional space doesn't mean we haven't gotten great results the last four and a half years. It means we're constantly improving. You have to make do with what you have and not dwell on what you don't. That's exactly what we've done and gotten great results in a small space. We can get results with the minimal equipment, the larger space is just going to allow us to continue to get better and provide an even greater service. It's the same people and the same attitude. If the highest aim of the captain was to preserve his ship, he would keep it in port forever. Through this transition, we understand that perfection is a myth. With our unique voice, we take imperfect action to work towards greatness and defend against mediocrity. The greatest mistake you can make in life is to be continually fearful that you will make one. The master has failed more times than the beginner has even tried.